Catherine McCord from Weelicious. When I realized that parents are responsible for 21 meals plus snacks per child for 18 years, I mean, parents are truly superheroes and that means you. You are preparing a lot of food ahead of time. You want to have different strategies that are going to help you just lean in to making your week a breeze. So one of the things that I started doing was on Sunday, I relax. I put on some good music. I have my favorite drink next to me and I start cooking. It starts with really mapping out what your week is going to look like. That could mean favorite recipes, favorite foods that your kids love, and going through your refrigerator, pulling out everything from last week that you want to make today or tomorrow, and seeing what you need to replace it with. So by going to the grocery, you're filling it up with all of the things that are just going to also fill your own bucket. So this is how I end up doing it. I like to prep a ton of foods that I can kind of mix and match during the week. So I'll grab any of the like zucchini or broccoli, asparagus, but also fresh cut vegetables. And I'm loving these because it takes out a lot of the work and even comes with things like fresh thyme. When you roast them up, it gives a ton of aroma uh, and flavor to your vegetables. So this is what I like to do. Just cut them all up into bite-sized pieces, toss a little bit of olive oil, some salt. You could even use your favorite kind of seasoning mix just to like give them a little bit of extra zip and zing. Put it into a 425 degree oven and cook it for about 35, 40 minutes until you see, you get these like caramel bits all over them. And this is gonna be one of the bases for the exciting recipes that we're gonna kind of mix and match all week. One of the things I always have on hand is a whole roasted chicken. Yes, you can buy your own chicken and roast it, but nothing beats the flavor of a whole roasted chicken like this. We'll have some of it tonight or tomorrow, and then I'll take the other pieces and well, I'll just show you what I do with them. So give me a second. The other is rice. Rice is the best thing that you can have. We make brown rice cakes. Oh, I gotta get you back another time to show you those because they are incredibly good. But we'll do stir fries. We can take the roast vegetables and some of that seasoning and mix them up. Perfect in a lunchbox, your lunch that you're gonna take to work or easy dinners. Also, pasta. Kids love pasta, and it is the perfect base for anything from a, just a delicious kind of Prego traditional red sauce to pesto. We always keep pesto on hand. It's great in sandwiches with rice, with pasta, anything that you love. It's just, it even makes an incredible sandwich spread. Now, eggs. We always make omelets in our house, scrambled eggs, but hard boiled eggs kept in a container like this are a perfect addition for breakfast, a high protein snack, or of course a lunchbox. So one of the things I like to do is just kind of show you how to mix them all up. So we can take a bowl and this is just like choose your own adventure on meal prep. So let's go with that pasta because I know that if you, you know, have kids, pasta is like always such a big one in our house. And pick different fun pasta shapes. You can pick macaroni, farfalle, ziti, spaghetti, whatever you love. And this also cuts down on food waste because you're only using what you need at a certain meal. So we're gonna add in a little bit of the Italian sauce here. Ooh, lots and lots of delicious flavor and just zhuzh it up. What we're gonna do at this point is usually just warm it up. You could either microwave it, you could put it over a low burner, um, and sometimes I'll even turn on the oven, and then we'll pick whatever kind of cheese my kids like, in this case, a little bit of that mozzarella, put a good handful in there, mix it up, put this into a greased baking dish in a 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes or until it gets nice and gooey. And like I said, in minutes, you have such an easy dish. Moving on, I have really taught my kids over the years to just help themselves in the refrigerator. I want them to feel free to grab foods that are especially good for their body. So one of the things I started doing is getting containers like this and filling it with foods like grapes or strawberries, wash them ahead, and then I take a marker like this 
and I'll just write on the container what the food is, and this easily washes off. So week to week, I can put different fruits or vegetables in there. And that way, they know that there's grapes. They can just grab them. They're already washed, and they have a healthy, delicious snack ready to go. Another thing that I find myself doing is cutting celery and carrots so that they have raw vegetables right there. I put them in jars filled with water so that they stay nice and cold and crisp. And then what I like to do is give them a favorite salad dressing that they love and they can pour this in a little bit of a bowl and then they can dip the carrots and celery right into the wishbone salad dressing. So it's just like a nice, healthy, delicious snack bright, colorful, and especially when kids come home from school and they are starving, it is the easiest time to get fruits and vegetables in their bodies. Back to food waste. I can't stand it. I try as much as possible to cut down on it to save money. So whenever you have any kind of leftover fruit, like pineapple or bananas, peaches or blueberries, I put any leftovers, any that are kind of have bruises on them or about to go overly ripe, I put them on a parchment lined baking sheet washed and I pop them in the freezer. This way, whenever I want to make a nice fruit smoothie or I want to make some popsicles, I can just put this right into the blender with some liquid and voila, you have a smoothie or a popsicle that's delicious and you have no waste at all. So you can also see all the bright colors and flavors and textures here. And especially when you're freezing things like peaches and blueberries, the combination in a smoothie is absolutely delicious. Now, I told you we were gonna do one more thing with that chicken, let's break it down. So I like to pull off the legs because that's my daughter's favorite part of the chicken. Oh, and it's like buttery meat. It's so ridiculously good. Um, and then sometimes I'll just take the breast meat and chop it into some fine pieces. And I'll show you what I'm gonna do. It's just an easy way to like really stretch your budget and especially get that protein that you love in there. Um, so we can take the skin off or you can keep it on however you like and then just cut it into pieces It can be a fine chop it depends how you know big or small you want But it's gonna be so moist and delicious that you know however you like it and then I just put it into a bowl I top it with a scoop of rice a scoop of the roast vegetables you get lots of color texture in here too. And then just a little zhuzh of the pesto. Oh, it's like flavor. You've got protein, you've got vegetable, you've got carbohydrate. It's just like this perfect meal and like just a bowl full of deliciousness. Put it all out, let your family Choose their own adventure. Let them make it the way that they want it with their favorite sauces, vegetables. Oh, look at that. That is what I want for dinner. When you are meal prepping, you are solving all of your weekday struggles.